this video, we're going to give you a chance to test yourself to see if you understand the connection between arguments and return values. I strongly recommend that you repeat this test as often as necessary so that you can make the connection. What we'll do is ask a question and then I'll give you an opportunity to hit the space bar on your computer and stop the video. So I'll ask the question and I'll wait just a second and then I'll give you the answer right away. You'll want to get in there and pause the video so that you can give yourself a chance to figure it out. Like I said, if you make any mistakes here, you should definitely try the challenge video again until you do understand. Okay, and I guess what I'll do is I'll just highlight a line to show you that I'm about to give the answer. That's where you should pause. Okay, let's begin. First off, which is uh, after the function gets loaded, lines one through three, which is the first line that gets executed? And we would say, which is the line number of the first line? The answer is line five. That's the very first line that gets executed. After line five, which line is, uh, is executed next? The answer is line one. It jumps from line five to line one because line five is a call to add these. Next question. What are the values, if we call the function on line five, what are the values of A and B? The answer is 5 and 10. A is 5 and B is 10. Next question. If we call the function on line 5, what is the value of x? The answer will be 15. Why? Because when we pass 5 and 10, and A and B are 5 and 10, and we say C equals A plus B, C is now 15. We're now returning C, 15. So x becomes 15. Let's do another one. After line 5, what, is, what are the next three lines that are executed? The answers are 7, 8, and then 9. Next question. After we call the function add these on line 9, what are the values of a and b when we get up to line 1? The answers are 2 and 3. So when we call the function on line 9, g and h are passed. g and h are integers 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 get assigned to the names a and b. So a and b are 2 and 3. Next question. After we call the function on line 9 with 2 and 3 as the arguments, what will the value of y be when we get back from the function? The answer is 5. We're passing 2 and 3 to the function. 2 and 3 are being added together to, retur to uh, return 5, and we're returning 5 from the function. When we return 5 from the function and we jump back down to line 9, y is now 5. Next question. When we call add these on line 11 with the values 20 and 30, we'll jump up to line 1. What are the values of A and B? The answer is 20 and 30. And what is the return value of add these? Or rather, I should ask you, what is the value of Z after we call add these on line 11? And the answer is 50. Why? Because when we pass 20 and 30 to add these, A becomes 20, B becomes 30, C becomes 50, we're returning 50, and we're assigning 50 to Z. Hope you enjoyed that test. Again, if there was any question about it, bring questions to class or keep repeating the video until it makes sense.